Hey folks, Dave Dean Hart with Double Designs here. So today we are going to install a camera in a laser. So what I've got here is the Lightburn 8 megapixel camera. Uh, I've already got this installed in the mount. I printed it off last night. Uh, so I've got things lined up and kind of situated in the enclosure here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to make sure I got everything else I need here. Um, so what we're going to need here is some X-Acto knife, double-sided tape, all the good stuff to stick this in here. I'm also going to go through a couple things real quick to show you how to uh, make sure that the head and everything are going to be okay as far as where you decide to place this camera. So uh, give me just a minute here. And I'll put this double-sided tape on here. And uh, we'll get it sliced there. Okay. So, one thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to make sure that the head and everything does not hit here. So what I've done already, as you can see, I've got the head here, uh, is I've already opened up my cover here. So this is here. I reached up in here and I went ahead and just moved over to where that's at. Uh, so you can see I've got the, uh, maybe you can see, So, got the camera right here. It's probably about an inch back from here. Uh, and it's tilted pretty much at the angle it needs to be at. Uh, there's not enough clearance between the lid and the head to have it in the center as per uh, Lightburn's recommendation. So, we'll just put it up here and out of the way. I'm going to move it, obviously, closer to the center here. And it won't be pointing quite straight down. It's going to be pointing a bit at an angle back to get the whole bed. Uh, but first, what we need to do, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this door, get it out of the way, so that we've got everything uh, opened and available. So what we're going to do here is we're going to plug the camera in. Now... I already have a USB extension installed in here because I did have a an old webcam installed in the unit before. It was fine, except that it was a little bit unclear, and I'd rather have a clear image if I'm trying to engrave on a bag or a uh, piece of material here. So I'm going to plug this in. The reason I'm doing that real quick is I do not know what way is going to be the right way. So I'm just looking here. I went ahead and installed it. Uh, yeah, that's right. So I uh, lucked out. already had it angled the correct way. So that is good. Now what I'm going to do is peel off the backing here of the double-sided tape. And get that off of there. Dang it. That is the worst part about double-sided tape for me is just trying to get this tag on backing off. Okay, there we go. Got that. Let's sit that down there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this is ready to get lined up. But before I do that... Go ahead and wipe 
that's the spot that we're going to adhere this to to make sure it's nice and clean and it's going to take the tape. Yeah, there's a little smoke build up there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pretty much just use the handle as my center alignment and go about an inch away from the facing here. I'm not going to stick it in place too tightly yet. I'm just going to kind of lightly stick it to it so that I can pull it away if I need to. We can see here in light burn that it is lined up and it can see the whole bed here. So we can see all the way down here. And obviously the bed's further down than it's normally going to be. Uh, normally the bed... We'll go ahead and raise that up. Normally the bed will be somewhere about here. So we can see here that we can see the whole bed I hope you can see that there, and you'll see here in a minute anyway. There's a square. I can do an update overlay, and I know it's going to be off. Oh, God, it's way off. Uh, so we won't do that. Uh, so we can see here that we can see the whole bed from the square because I know that's the furthest back, all the way to the front, all the way to the right, and all the way to the left. So I think we're going to be good there. So... Why don't we go ahead and just push this into place, make sure we've got really good adhesion. And uh, I didn't put the little knob on here because I really just don't like things to have the possibility of coming loose. So what we're going to do on this is we're just going to crank down these Allens here. So I'm pretty happy with that alignment there already. Uh, that gets everything. So I'll just hold this, crank that down. And crank this side down. Double check it because I know I kind of move things a little bit. It may have just a little bit of movement there. Yeah, so we're good. I was able to go ahead and move that back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use duct tape and I'm going to tape the wiring in place just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And uh, also, there's no tension relief here on this wire and I certainly don't want that to get snagged and bust the connector off or anything like that so we're gonna tape this to the front here so you can see that I just put a piece of tape right here the wire is going back and routing to the camera then i'm just going to go ahead and bring this along the front and put a piece of tape every so often and just kind of put that in the gutter there. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. Uh, so it's between the metal frame and the, uh, the acrylic. So there's a little 90 degree there that we can use to our advantage. Okay, we're going to just go all the way around and do this.
and we'll just keep going around. Just like that. And right here should be good enough for the door portion. didn't quite have a enough overlap. Let's get that to overlap just a little more. Yeah, that is good. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to lower the bed a little bit. move this back behind the rail. I'm going to put a piece of tape up here on the top to allow this to jump the hinge. There we go. That is nice and out of the way. And then I'm going to put another piece back here on the top as well. Then we'll drape this down. So pull this all up under the bed. And I'll neaten this up and move the excess wire to the electronics compartment just to get it out of the way. But for now, we're just going to do this. here and get it taped down and out of the way. Now, before we do anything else, we need to verify that everything's exactly as we think it should be. So if I drop the bed down, nothing's in the way. If I bring the bed back up, that's about normal operating height. So why don't we go ahead and bring the head over here, make sure the drag chain, drag chain doesn't snag any of the wiring, none of that. Let's drop this down. We're not snagging anything. Everything still has really good clearance. Let's go ahead and move the head up to the camera here, make sure that we're not going to hit the camera. Wow. Uh, we have very little clearance there, so uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's what the installation entails. Uh, it's not too difficult. I will get back with you guys here in a minute, and we will cover how to go ahead and get the uh, camera aligned so that you don't have this fisheye effect, and, uh, and we'll go from there. See you guys in a few.